All right, we're back for another awesome episode of Urban Green Bee. Over here, we have my lovely new color. Um, you saw it upstairs. It's called Paradise Green. Is that a copyright issue? It's called Amazing Fantabulous Green. And um, this is the design. Uh, I make it with these little stamps that I made. This is not a copyright issue. Um, and they go together like this. And when I'm done, because I'm going to need to make new ones of these, because this one's falling apart. You can see it's got a crack in it. I'm going to hang them from some gold chains. Like this. Yeah. So uh, I recently started a small outreach project. And it's with a couple of boys from Boys Town that I met uh, at one of my collection sites. I need to make some videos regarding my study. Um, and I'll explain that more in another video. But this is one of the boys' names that I met. And I'm helping them make these little things. Um, if you look closely. He carved it, and then he painted it. And then he did the same thing on this side. And then one more who really liked my uh, design. Very nice. Over here, we've got some real science happening. Uh, Jeremy is attempting to improve the quadrant count by speeding it along by making some... Bigu. Be gook, but what I think he means is goop, because gook is in fact a derogatory racial slur. So let's go with goop. Oh, is it really? It really is. What does that mean? Uh, it's, it's an Asian slur. Oh, shit. You never heard any old man say that? Okay. Gook? No? Maybe, is that in, like, uh, Gran Torino? Probably. I've never seen it. Although my dad says that he stars in that movie. So, you can see... He made this, we're steeping it, and we're going to drink it after about 10 minutes. Just kidding. What he's going to try and do is use it to uh, get a, a respective sample size uh, for the count of Varroa in the hive. Um, here, this is our lab, by the way. Let me give you a nice quick tour. More science happening right there. Uh, around, around, around. Up top. You can see some of my beautiful hives. Um, looking out, you can see the bees coming in. What are they doing? You can see that's their entrance. And this is our amazing observation hive. What do I need to see? I wonder if we can see in with the camera. Mm -hmm. mm, I can't, but I will look. What am I looking at? you see that? What is that? Right? Oh my god, I wish you could see that. Can you turn down the light? Yeah. I don't know how to do it, but it's amazing. Can you try? Yeah. Bear with us. Maybe a little brighter, by the way. What is that? Can you see it? Yeah, could, yep. Kind of, it's a little bright. It's kind of dark, dark. Too bright? Yeah. Better. So you can kind of see it. The heck is that? Oh. That's science. That's what that is. Okay, so what I want to show you now. Dude, oh my god, now I know what that looks like. It looks like a Star Trek spacecraft. It looks like a Polinia. That's what it looks like to me. Um. Where can I put this? I can put on this micro pipet stand. Can you see now? Kind of. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take off this cover. Check this out. It's our observation hive. That's me. Okay, so look closely. It's too close. Okay. There's a lot of glare, but um, it's really cool. 
can see. And again, they go out. You can see that nice porch that Jeremy made them. Sometimes it collects water so they can get some water out of it. Um, let's see. Do we see any waggle dancing? There's so much glare. There's some waggle dancing. Huh? Pretty adorable. It's kind of going on everywhere, actually. Um, and we we came back in because that's happening outside. Crazy. Represent. Okay. Um, so let's come back. And I want to show you something that's really cool. I made this recently. And this is what I made. This is our bee lab. This is our new sign. I carved it out of wood. And then I put some gold paint in here. And here too. Look close. Look at that detail. Okay, can you focus? There we go. Nice. And then I rubbed some dark purple in here so it's not quite black. So you could see the details a little better. It's a queen bee. And then we mounted this little plastic thing, and I could not cut the plexiglass straight, so I, you know, customized it to make it look rustic. Whatever. Don't hate. Um, there you go. So, is there anything else I want to show you? I guess I'm just going to keep painting. I'm going to convert these. You remember these colors from earlier videos? Um... They're just drab compared to this. And we're trying to establish the urban green bee look. And that's our color. Um, even my camera case is that color, but that was not planned. So, um, that's all I have to say.